here I have a Pioneer SX3700 receiver for repair and I don't know the condition so let me turn on the power okay the team for steam so there's no shock but there's no trick sound from amplifier which is the uh, amplifies in the uh, protection mode right now. Uh, seems like FM is working. So the problem maybe is not in the uh, preamp, it's in the power amp. Uh, so the protection mode is still on. This is the circuit diagram for the uh, power amplifier in SX3700. Uh, you can see this uh, relay right here connect to the speaker. Um, so in order to make this thing work, uh, this output here is the left channel and this is the right channel. Uh, had to be uh, close to zero volt here so I usually will check the uh, DC offset right here uh, make sure uh, they are in zero volt range here and so we can look at the uh, PCB there and just try on this uh, inductor here and parallel with the 10 ohm resistor uh, on the circuit board so it's very easy to find if we can find the inductor then we can find the 10 ohm and we just measure on this point here for DC offset and need to be close to zero volt otherwise this uh, relay won't work That's why you know the relay not uh, kick on because the uh, right now it's in the protection mode. Uh, the right channel. Right channel zero. You can see right here it's zero. Yeah, let me enlarge. Closer seven uh, about twenty minute walk, but uh, the left channel is too high. Let's turn it back to here. The channel right now seven point nine, close to eight volt here. So definitely the left channel uh, is defective. So we're going to check the uh, left channel, uh, see what's the problem on left channel. Okay, I'm going to check this uh, transistor here. Okay. Show short right here. And then, so short between B and C. 
and this is a uh, MP in here. Oh, so two like this. So MPN is okay, but the uh, PMP is bad. Short here, B and C is short. So this transition needs to be replaced. After I replace the power transistors, uh, the system still kicked in, kick on. So I'm going to decide to check the uh, bias. Uh, so I hook up the test point uh, 46 uh, and 47. Uh, so I'm going to turn on the power. So it's a uh, more than a hundred. So that mean the circuit still have problem there. Uh, and the service manual said need to be under hundred. So I need to check the bias circuit there. And this a bias uh, circuit here, and it show between Q10 and Q12. Uh, there's a uh, two resistor here. It's R318 and R320. And there's a jumper wire. Is when the uh, bias too low, it just cut the thing off. And it seems like this uh, R318 is pretty critical because they have uh, important. Simple. So after I remove this uh, R318, I check the uh, resistor here, and it is okay. But if something still show where in here is a leak here, so I end up took out the uh, Q10, which is just this one here. So I see. C2575. You can see right here. 2524 and the source and value. And uh, it's not supposed to have value here between C and E. So this one definitely is a bad. <laughs> After I solder this uh, 2 as a C1213 here, I'm going to do a test and see if that really engage or not. So let me turn on the power. Okay. You can hear the uh, relay is kicked in. That's mean in engage right now. Let me turn on the warning. Seems like it's working though. transistor and also the Q10 the bias transistor here so right now it's all working Transistor uh, defective. It's a PMP one defective. 
and also the uh, bias transistor defective. So I replace a new pair transistor here and a new uh, bias transistor there. So right now it's all working. Thank you for watching.